All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing well, whatever you're watching this video from. Today's video is a little bit different than usual. We're still gonna hit a workout. I've got a nasty shoulder sesh plan, but I'm gonna break down my current unique workout split that I'm using right now, going into summer to really get bigger, but improve some you know, muscle groups that have really not gotten the attention that they deserve in the past, and I'm trying to bring some of them up. Um, for me, you guys will see, but back and arms in particular, I feel like when you do a standard push-pull leg split, you know, your arms often get neglected. And for me, I had a tough time really feeling my back for a long time. So we're trying to bring those up and I got this unique split um, that I'm excited to share with you all. The full reps and sets will be in the description below, but I'm gonna help you guys go through um, each exercise that I'm doing, um, kind of my flow with the workouts and uh, yeah, we'll get into it. All right, so here's the current split. And I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through it. So um, this is a five day split, but I feel like people are like always like, oh, like let's do a week split, let's do three days, or let's make it fill a week. And like the, the week is subjective, right? Like people created the week, but the week isn't like a thing that exists, right? So for me, I've done all the splits under the moon, push, pull legs, everything. We're on a five day split right now. The first day, which is my favorite day, is chest and back. This day we're starting off, it's gonna be like four exercises for each body part, but the first thing is pull-ups and push-ups. Um, that's a superset, kind of to warm up, get some blood going and flowing. Um, I'll do pull-ups, 10 reps, push-ups, 20 reps, just kind of supersetting those, getting everything feeling good. Um, I hit that yesterday, phenomenal workout. My favorite day on this split. Then we'll go into some incline smith and low cable rows with these guys, we're kind of you know, having the goal to kind of do opposite. So when we're pushing like this, we're kind of rowing like this. So that's the first one. Um, and then we'll do flat dumbbell bench like this, lat pull downs like this. That's a little bit different, but we want to hit all parts of the back. Um, and then we'll finish with some pec that get some more blood in the chest and then work on the upper back as well as rear delts because rear delts make a very large portion of the upper back. Um, that's day one. Um, a lot of people go one muscle like back and then chest after the finish. For me, I like doing the alternating stuff. It's really a good workout, good pump, and just very enjoyable overall. So that's day one. Day two is a leg day. Now this is my only leg day per week, and I will rest um, accordingly, but probably after these five days. So the sixth day would be a rest day. So I'm only hitting legs once every six days. So we're going in hard um, and pr going pretty heavy too. Uh, we're gonna do squats. We're gonna start off with some heavy squats. Then we're gonna go into some leg press, a little bit lighter, some higher reps, really build up that lactic acid, throw a drop set on the last set as well. Then we're gonna do some seated hamstring curls, gonna do a drop set there as well. Um, to finish with some walking dumbbell lunges and the uh, standing calf raises. And then I will be doing abs twice on this split here on the leg day and then the back day. On this one, I'm probably gonna just do some sort of weighted crunch where I'm really focused on bringing my upper body up and then the second ab day, I will focus on bringing my legs up, so like a hanging leg raise. Um, that's day two. Day three is shoulders and tries. Um, I think shoulders and tries are a good day to have because on your push day, you always start with chest, or usually, and uh, the shoulders and tries often get neglected and the shoulders are really great and giving you that nice aesthetic look, um, really getting that V taper. So we're starting with standing over at um, barbell press. I'm working on a compound, bracing the core. Then we're gonna do some dumbbell lateral raises. Um, I'm doing a rear delt row instead of a pec deck because I've already done the pec deck on the first day. But you can go a lot heavier when you're doing a, a rear delt row. Um, get a lot of tension on the rear delts because you're stronger when you're like this than you are out here. So I like doing that, it feels really good. Um, then we'll finish with some dumbbell shrugs, really work on the traps. Um, and then before going into triceps, which will do a close grip push down, four sets, about 10 to 12 reps, and then an overhead dumbbell French press. Um, one of my favorite exercises right there, putting the dumbbell above the head, um, seated, just to get a really nice stretch on the belly of the tricep. That's day three. Day four is a back day. Um, these days are kind of hitting all the muscle groups, and then the back and arms day at the end are what I'm trying to focus on, bring up. So we'll start out with pull-ups. I'll do pull-ups every single back day. These are included. Um, every single back day is a staple of mine, getting warm, as well as just being a great exercise overall for back um, structure and kind of working the musculature. So we'll get warm with pull-ups. Pull then we're gonna do a low cable row, same as the first day. Then we're gonna do a lat pull-down, same as the first day. I'm focused on doing the same exercises to really master the form, the technique. Um, a lot of people you know, are changing up their exercises every single day. And that can be good, but I'd rather you know focus on the basics, keep it similar, and really get good with those. 
um, so I can master the form and the weight will go up, I'll get stronger. Um, then we'll actually go into some deadlifts. I'm not doing deadlifts at the start because I could do heavier at the start, but I'm gonna go probably about three plates on each side, go for about six to eight reps, just working on getting that full range of motion, working my lower back, the erectors, and getting a great contraction at the top, working the whole back at the end. Um, and then as my back is then all warm, I'm gonna stretch it out. One thing I really like doing with everything almost, um, I'll do some lat pullovers, lat prayers, however you call them. We'll get like a straight bar and just feel the really good, you know, full range of motion, go down, squeeze in the lats, really good exercise right there. Um, and then we'll finish with abs. I already mentioned what I do for that. And then the last day of the week is uh, an arm day. Now this is definitely the easiest day of the week, but take no, um, don't think just cause it's arms, it's easy. You know, you can train arms easy, but if you're really trying hard, like I'm trying to bring my arms up, um, it's still gonna be a decently challenging workout, but it should be an enjoyable one for you. Kind of give your body a break um, cause it's been working all week. We'll start off with some row pushdowns. Go into some easy bar French press. Now both of these we're gonna be doing four sets, um, 10 to 12 reps, really um, controlling. You know, you can get big arms by doing a lot of things, but I've noticed for me, you don't need to go super heavy. You wanna really focus on uh, working that muscle because you're getting that stimulus when you're doing your torso work, meaning your chest um, and your back work as well. So we're really focusing on getting a connection. We're gonna do our push downs to start, get some good blood in the tries, do some easy bar French press. This is an underrated exercise I see no one doing. Um, basically just get an easy bar, prop it up, go down, get a really nice stretch and then squeeze. Control, that one feels incredible. We'll go high reps on there, like I'm talking 15 to 20. Again, full workouts down below if you guys wanna follow along um, before going into some biceps. We're gonna do rope hammer curls. A lot of people kinda go wider, which is cool, but what I like doing is kinda going closer and uh, work on the forearms as well as the brachialis, which will pop out your uh, triceps and biceps the more you develop it, so that's really cool. And then we'll just finish with some standard alternating dumbbell curls, really focusing on twisting the pinky up. And then I throw in some dumbbell lateral raises um, at the end of that workout because it, shoulders should be recovered and uh, you can never have enough of that like side delt look. Yeah, that is every exercise that I'm doing right now that I've been doing that I'm doing going into summer 2023. Um, I really like this split. It's very balanced, um, but it's focused on bringing up the muscle groups that I want to bring up. Now you're probably like, Alex, why is there only one chest? A chest is a you know pretty big muscle. And for me, chest is definitely my easiest or De not my easiest, definitely my best muscle group. Um, so we're starting with chest and we're actually kicking off the back day. So it is a little bit more chest focused than back. Um, nonetheless, we are training back and chest. Um, so focusing on at the start, but uh, I'm, I'm really focused on bringing some other stuff, legs and um, chest in particular. You know, I'm gonna keep getting them better improving. We don't wanna like stay the same, we wanna keep improving, but definitely wanna focus on the back arms I guess shoulders to some degree too. Yeah, that's the workout split. Um, if you guys have any questions on this, hit me in down below in the comments. I'd be more than happy to help answer anything. But the disclaimer with this is this is what I'm doing. Now every single person is built different. You can use this and great, get great results like I have going into summer. Um, but there could be something you should do. You know, maybe you got a small chest. Maybe you should be working your legs more. I'm a soccer player. I've always trained legs really hard. So uh, my legs are definitely standing out to the rest of my body. But uh, the plan now is we're gonna actually kick off, um, not kick off this split work, but we're gonna hit this uh, shoulders and tries workout um, to kind of show you guys what more what I'm talking about. You have the workouts right here. It's down below in the video description. But yeah, what can I say? Let's run. So you guys are probably wondering what's that second powder. So we got our pre, right, our staple. Um, you guys know I like this pre, it has five types of caffeine. Kind of gets me going, gets me focused, gets me cracked out, but not like too crazy. I like being in the, in the zone, in the mood, but I don't like it, you know, distracting me so much. So I love this pre, one scoop. Um, I'll usually do one scoop for most days, but then when I'm really trying to push the weights, trying to go heavier, I will go two. Um, but then what I also got in here is a scoop of the Oxy Shred non-stim. Um, this is EHP's thermogenic fat burner, and I like this because it's gonna heat up my body temperature, really get my sweat on, boost my metabolism, 
um, help try to convert those fat cells into energy as we're going into summer. So, you know, I'll have my pre, my focus, my pump, and then this gets my body temp up and it just gets me kind of going a little bit extra. Um, I like stacking those. It's like a raspberry pina colada, which, you know, you can't go wrong with that. Um, tastes pretty dang good. So uh, I'm just gonna add a few um, cranks of some sea salt, or some pink Himalayan salt because uh, sodium before your lift is really good for you. You know, you're sweating out, you don't wanna deplete those electrolytes. So uh, yeah, that's the pre-workout. Um, drink this, Ryan and I got about a 20 minute drive to the gym. I'm gonna take you guys through the whole workout today. Um, shoulders, tries, warm up, get the shoulders feeling good, and just work on kinda bringing our best appearance in the summer, so uh, yeah. So we're hitting the uh, shoulders and tries, feeling good. I like doing the jump rope as my kind of warm up before this day, because when you do your jump, it helps get the shoulders nice and warm. So get that warm, a little bit of arm circles, get everything loose, and then we're really good. Ready to push some weight, feeling good. But uh, plan for today's workout is uh, we're getting up to our weight, um, going a little bit lighter than usual, because I think I like doing the theme with this workout is keeping rest time really short. So we're gonna do a minute 30 for the first you know heavier press but then everything else the rest of the workout is going to be a minute so this workout should take you 50 60 minutes max really good intensity good pump uh, just good good times man it's good to mix it up this a while but I've really been enjoying it um it's also about finding stuff you enjoy right because you can have the most precise stuff but if you don't enjoy your training it's not gonna be fun right so uh gotta find a good balance for the structure well too so timer's up let's get back to it <laughs> I like doing regardless of if my shoulders are warm is before my lateral raises I'm gonna do two kind of warm-up sets about 25 reps really get a ton of blood in there so I'm going 17 half super light feeling on you know feeling that squeeze out driving up with the elbow um, not gripping as hard just focusing with that shoulder and that way when I go into my heavier sets now I'm warm and uh, it's gonna feel a lot better so that's a little tip that you guys can try I like it try it out For the last set, we'll do a double drop set. Again, theme of today, short rest time, a lot of blood in the lats, in the lats, in the shoulders. So we're gonna do two drop sets, just keep going strong.
So now, most people as their rear delt exercise, we talked about that earlier, right? We're gonna do a, like a reverse pec deck. You're actually stronger in this position. So we're gonna do one warm up set and the three and 10 sets of like a rear delt row. I'll show you guys the cues, bent over, keeping those elbows straight. So we're really working that rear delt. A little bit of back's involved, but that's not bad, right? So let's go. All right guys, so I am gonna strap up for this because we're doing some dumbbell shrugs. And I feel like for me, my grip strength gives out before my, you know, my traps and my back. So it's gonna help us go a little bit heavier, really focusing on contracting the traps. Um, yeah man, it's like straps get a bad rap, right? Because for back it's great because a lot of times you don't feel your back because you're always gripping your bicep, but this allows you to just pull back and really focusing on the back. So I mean, traps are kind of shoulders back they kind of go into both, but a little tip for you. So, dumbbell shoulders, two tries of exercises. We're gonna do about 12 reps on each of them. Um, yeah, man, it's shoulders and tries good day, working on those kind of imbalances for a lot of people. Um, most people got overdeveloped chest. Shoulders and tries, not usually. So, that's what we're doing, that's the name of the game today, but what can I say, man? Rest time short, a minute on everything besides that first movement. <laughs> I'm sweating like crazy, but uh, yeah, it feels good. You guys definitely gotta give this one a go. All right, so end of the workout. We're not too strong, right? But one of my favorite exercises right here to get a nice stretch. Arch the back a little bit. Down, great stretch, go up. Um, just finishing strong, stretching out the tries at the end, but good sesh, man. Not too long, but also high intensity, so. All right, man, that's a complete wrap on the workout. I'm sweaty, I need a shower. Um, what was that, Ryan? About an hour, wasn't it? Yeah. Pretty quick, but again, like, just because it's quick doesn't mean, you know, we aren't going hard, going, aren't going intense, right? Because it's not what you do, but it's how you do it, um, like most things in life, right? But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, full breakdown of my split. Again, that's all below if you guys want to try that out. Any questions, just hit me. Um, I'll get back to y'all y'all in the comments. But uh, <laughs> what do I know, man? I'm just Alex. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.